hey guys in this video we are going to learn how do you bind a table and the entity now what is a table table is a control in uipath app okay like you have seen the buttons like there is a table control an entity in data service so how do you create an entity and how do you get the data there inside the entity into the table that is something a new learning for you in this video so without making any further delay let's get started the very first thing that we will do we will add a table control the table control will like look like this okay column heading column heading column heading and here if you want to manually create you can give your names okay but here our goal is different we want to add an entity now for that we will go to orchestrator and in the orchestrator click on this three dots and click on data services okay so once you click on data services you will come to this page on this page i am going to click on create new entity and let me give it a name i am going to give it a name as employee okay or you can say employee table so entity is nothing but it's a table so i am going to hit on save so in the data services what we have done we have created a table called employees table now in this table i am going to add some data so i am i can click on this employee table hyperlink it is going to show me some of the columns which are already created for example these are the by default columns id updated time created by so don't worry about the columns and do not delete them let it be there i am going to add few fields into it let's say i want to capture the name of the employee so it will be text field i am going to save it i want to add one more field uh, which will be uh, the phone number of the employee let's say so i am going to say phone number and this will be a kind of a number field and i'm going to hit on save let's say i want to have an email address field so i'll say email address and i'm going to select uh, so these are the different data types i have so it will be a text field so let me keep it as text and hit on save so you have the option to choose the kind of field that you need so here you can see name phone and email address got created so let us also add some data i am going to click on add data and let me write some name let's say rakesh kumar and let me put some phone number okay and then some email address rakesh at the rate test okay so i am entering some example data into this one so what would happen once i add it if i click go to the data here i can see the data has been added rakesh phone number email address likewise you can continue to add more data let's go to the table now in the table in the uipath app studio all i have to do click on this inverted triangle and then i need to add the entity so click on entity and select the entity so in your tenant it will show the entity you have an option to change the tenant here so let me select the employees table and by default the system user also getting selected so don't worry about that let it be as it is and click on add now what happened the entity got added to uipath app studio however if i go to the main page in the table nothing has come here so for this select the table and then there is something called data source field here click on this data source field write a equal symbol here the moment you do this it is going to bring up the resources page and from the resources page i am going to select employees table quite simple so the employees table got added and the moment it got added what happened i can see email address name and phone number but there is a problem why the name did not come at the beginning why the email address has come in such a case you have an option to drag and drop wherever you like so i can, you can see i have organized or reorganized the columns how i want let's say i want the phone number after the name so likewise you can do it now there was a data you cannot see the data here correct you cannot see the data here only when you run a preview you will be able to see the data which i have added rakesh right that is the data i have added so give it few seconds and you can see the data which i have added in the entity or the table employees table here it has come so this is one of the very simple way of 
connecting the entity with the table or binding the entity with the table okay whatever words you would like to use it but again we are making a connection between the entity and the table and showing the data during the runtime so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye